Greetings everyone, I am Zirjedi, this is the XBLA Fan Channel, and I'm here to give you a quick taste of For the Warp, a roguelike deck building game that has you going through dangerous space, trying to get home, and hopefully not exploding along the way, and so far, I've really enjoyed this game. I've done about five runs and succeeded at none of them, but still enjoying it. The furthest I got was the third system, but it was actually an alternate path, which is actually kind of neat, uh, but then I was promptly met with not having any fuel, and it went real bad. Uh, so I actually have two game modes available to me right now, normal and draft. I'm sure we can all guess what hardcore is, uh, but draft is actually interesting. But uh, in normal, you have uh, the ships, they have their set stats, and then they have their own deck assigned to them. Uh, draft allows you to pick that ship with the same stats, but get random cards. So you could get a whole bunch of amazing cards or a whole bunch of cards that have no synergy at all, but one amazing card that you hope you'll uh, pull at the most crucial of moments. Let's just kind of do normal mode here. So right now I have three ships, uh, but as you can see, there is a nice selection here and you can actually kind of see a, a description of them here, what they do and their stats at the bottom right down here. Like this one has like 95 hull, but no shields. Uh, this one has 70 hull, 15 shields. Uh, this one right, where is it? This one has the uh, most shields here, but I have not quite gotten to them. The standard frigate is the one you start out with, and I unlocked these two uh, ships. And I've used this one twice. This one's got an interesting sort of theme to it. Uh, so if its main attack is a ram, and if you're above 50% health, you lose health. But once you hit that threshold, you're no longer taking that damage. And you get a lot of these uh, enraged defenses, which gives you extra shields. Uh, and if you have less than 50% health, you get uh, a damage bonus and stuff like that. And you have this cauterizing beam, which can uh, slightly heal you. Let's see, hmm, who do I want to take out? Let's go ahead and take this uh, Light Destroyer here. It has some uh, good point defense that gives you some shields. Uh, I really like these uh, Gatling guns because you do two damage and you can redraw a card, which is nice. We're gonna actually get the story here. So you're either trying to get home to get paid or maybe save humanity. I'm just going to think that we're doing this entire trip because we have something uh, very valuable to help out humans. Ooh, all right, let's see. What do we want to start out with? Plus one HP per run. So uh, you have equipment slots and then you have your deck, which as you uh, progress, you can pick more cards to add to it. Let's see if you are... No. Uh, Ignite is real nice. All right, that's good too. All right, we're gonna stop there. Uh, so these areas are actually randomly generated. I think the exits are in the same location, but the enemy placements, hazards, and uh, random events are random. If you look at the upper left, you can actually see my health, my fuel, kind of like FTL, uh, your movements take fuel. I got my money and then I got the system I'm in. I currently don't have any equipment equipped. Uh, and here is my new and improved deck with uh, the two extra cards. But uh, let's hop right on into a battle here. So if you look at the upper left there, you can see my health, you can see my shields, and then those little green stripes there are essentially my action points that allow me to use the cards here. Each of these costs one point, so I can use all three of these if I really want to. You can see my money and my fuel there. So some cards actually use your money to do damage or other effects. Same with fuel. You can actually even steal fuel from people, which is real funny. Uh, if you look over at the right side there, we can see his next turn, he's gonna do an attack from three to nine damage. It will tell you whatever they're gonna do next, be it attack, defense, uh, status effects, stuff like that. There we go. So shields last through the uh, entire battle as long as you have them and they don't get destroyed, you keep them. Aha, uh -huh, you didn't get through my shields. And guess what, I get more shields now. Set you on fire. So he'll take damage there. And then he got obliterated. This is actually my favorite ship so far. So I won, I got some credits and I got some fuel. Oh, nanite canister is nice. Take nanite canister. Let's head over here to this uh, random event. Oh, here's a uh, little, another event. Uh, no, thank you. So of course, if you really want, you can explore like 
the entire area and all that kind of fun stuff. The only issue with that is fuel reserves. There's nothing chasing you like an FTL. And then a canister is going to be nice. Man, oh, look at all these shields, though. If I can get that uh, burn damage to everyone, that'd be real nice. Oh, Gatling gun, perfect. Scorching cannon. Set you on fire. There we go. Uh, this video might be a little bit longer than the other videos because I do want to show this game off. I've been enjoying it a lot. Kaboom. Nope. Oh, I picked the wrong card, but it's fine. I was going to do that anyways, but in the reverse order. So you are on fire. You are dead. Nano machines. Kaboom. So one of the uh, drafts that I got gave this ship a uh, black hole gun, essentially, that just did 50 damage. It was great. I do not want ramming speed. And if I wanted to, I could just not take any of those cards. Sure, why don't we take it? Okay, that's actually a really good card. Uh, yes, please do. All right, let's see what this is. Oh, this is the same in uh, every area. It just says, oh, something terrible is happening. No, thank you. All right, we're gonna head on out of here. We'll take this guy on, hopefully, to get some uh, goodies. Haha, <laughs> you are all on fire now. At the end of the uh, main warp gate, uh, there is a boss in each area. Ooh, uh, more damage to everyone. Point defense. Uh, but uh, in the second area, I have discovered that there is a uh, unattended warp gate that will warp you to an alternate area. Kaboom. Oh, not enough energy. We're good. Uh, and that one does not have a, bo uh, a boss there. However, in, starting in the second area, there is this crazy powerful ship that has like 700 health and 50 uh, uh, shields. And it, it does not like that you exist. Aha, uh -huh, you caught on fire and exploded. You know what? I should probably check if I actually added that card to my deck. That one's nice. Uh, so yeah, uh, so changing the intent, oopsie, uh, changing the intent, I did not add it. So changing the intent would actually be like, if they were attacking, it would force them to do defense, or if they were defending, it would force them to attack. And you might wonder, why would I want to make them attack? Uh, there is a one card that if they are in the attack mode, it'll do 15 damage to them. Uh, one of the times I got a draft for this, this I've done a lot of draft with this one. One of the times I actually got like an entire deck that was just like only uh, uh, burn effects and stuff like that. I had a card that like every card that you had in your deck or your hand that had ignite effects to it, uh, they took extra damage. And like if I had the correct cards, I just wiped things out. Ouchies. Jerk. But yeah, I've like really been enjoying this game. Inspiring shot. I don't know. I, I haven't really experimented with drones quite yet. All right, we're gonna. Oops. Oh, let's. No, I didn't want to go there. I wanted to go to the station. Uh, that's probably fine. Ouchies. Oh, 
Get rid of you real quick. Yeah, there we go. Gatling gun. Burn everything. Get some more shields up. Max that out. Get rid of you. That's so much damage. That's great. So normally, if you have no uh, ability points, the auto ends your turn. However, if you have one of these Gatling guns or something that does uh, doesn't cost any points, uh, the game is really smart and lets you use them, which I appreciate. This station, I think, is one of the ones that'll let me repair. That's nice. Uh, let's do that. How do you want me directing me that way? Yeah, perfect. I have a ton of money. Uh, restart the core is a really good card. We're gonna go visit you. Cool. We're not gonna go seek that out. That is, that is a alternate, that's an alternate, that purple thing would be an alternate exit. Uh, I wanna show off a boss though. Excellent. Oh, that's perfect. Look at all these shields. Ignite you. More shields. More shields. More shields. That orbiting drone card's really nice. Uh, inspiring shot. Uh, I don't need to ignite. Let's do 10 damage. More shields, more shields. Pew pew. I was hoping to get a uh, Ignite card there so I could do the extra damage. Boom. Ba boom. Inspiring shot. Gatling gun. Oh, I picked the wrong thing. It's fine. Bam. There we go. And we have one. I don't know what boost points are, so we're just going to go. And uh, off we go to the next area. Excellent. Uh, oh, this is the uh, Singularity Gun. 50 damage to a target and disables them. So if they survive, they don't get a turn. Uh, this is a uh, nice card as well. Oh, Crippling Ion's nice. There we go. We're going to go and just take that. Missile silo is really nice. Uh, last resort is really good. But yeah, uh, there you go. As you can see, I also recovered a chunk of my health. It's not all of it. It's a good chunk, though. Uh, but anyways, I am Azir JD. This is the XBLA Fans Channel. I would highly suggest this game if you like something like Slay the Spire, uh, FTL. That's, it's essentially just those two games like crammed together, and I, I really like the flow of this game. Uh, thank you once again. Have a nice day. Goodbye.